Hello, my friends. Remember me, Mrs. Diaz? Well, I am back to give you a lesson on observing and recording local weather. So it's lesson 1.3, observing and recording local weather, part one. On the last lesson that you had with scientist Kate, she talked to you about different types of temperature. She showed you how she uses her thermometer to gauge different types of temperature. Now, with that information and that information that you had before learning about different types of weather, we're going to do some observing and recording. I am so excited for this lesson because you have learned so many tools as scientists. And in this lesson, you'll be able to use them. Now, all you need for this lesson is someone to listen to you for your observations and also to look at your recordings. And if there's no one around, that's okay. I don't have anyone around here either, but I have my monkey Chunky. He's here for me and he's a good listener. And he's also a good observer because he has his eyes and his ears. So that works out too. Plus I'm here with you. Remember, I'm always here. I can see you. I can hear you. Are you ready to begin? Let's begin. So on our first activity, we're gonna be observing local weather. But before we do that, I wanna make sure that you know what the word local means. When we're looking at local weather, it is the weather around us, where we live. So depending on where you live, that's what the weather that you're going to have with you. So you're going to be observing the local weather, the weather that is around you. So as weather scientists that you are already, we have a very important question that we need to ask and see what we can think about and what ideas do we have about around this. So the question is, how do we describe weather? So we learned that there are different types of weather, but we also learned that there's different ways of describing weather. So think for a minute. Think of all the things that scientist Kate has taught you, all the things that Mrs. Diaz has taught you, because you have a lot of new ideas, I know. All right, so we're thinking about ways in which we describe weather. And I know that in the last lesson, you learned about that. So let's review and let's take a look at it. So here you can see it says, well, we have learned about how to describe weather so far. This is what we have learned so far. So we've learned that there are different types of weather. We learned that weather can be sunny, cloudy, rainy, windy, snowy. And when we describe the weather, we talk about the temperature. So if it's sunny, it could be very hot or just hot or warm. When it's cloudy, it could be cool. And sometimes it could be cloudy and warm. When it's rainy, it could be maybe cool, maybe cold sometimes warm depending on where you live when it's windy you can describe the temperature as being cold or cool or sometimes very cold because it depends what kind of a wind we have and then when it's snowy we know that it tends to be cold and very cold and sometimes cool because if it's a snowy if it's a snowy day that has a lot of sun it could be one of those nice crisp uh cool days all right, so now, in the last lesson, you went outside to observe the weather. Today, we will go outside again and use our new words to describe the temperature. We can see if the weather today is the same or different from last time. So when I say last time, I want you to think about when Miss Kate and you, uh, scientist Kate, I'm sorry, and you uh, had the lesson and you went outside, what was it? What was it that time? And how is it different? It could be the same or it could be different. 
So if it's the same, then nothing has changed. But if it's different, what makes it different from last time? So just think about that for a minute. I'm going to give you a minute to think about it. Hmm. Just think. Hmm. Okay. So what are the different words we have learned to describe different types of weather? What are the different words we have learned that describe temperature? So we've learned many, many words. So we've learned that it could be sunny. We've learned that it could be cloudy. We've learned that it could be windy or rainy, snowy, right? Those are different types of weather. But we've also learned describing words. So we've learned words like cool, warm, hot, we can also say very cold, very hot. So it's ways of describing different types of weather. See all the information that you have? It's amazing. So now, with an adult, I want you to go outside and look and see what the weather is like today. I want you to observe. Remember that when we observe, we're using our sense of sight, right? And sometimes even how our body feels, we can tell what kind of a weather it is. So when you go out there with the person that you're with, I want you to discuss the weather with your partner. And I want you to tell your partner how hot or how cold it is today. So the two words we're using right now is hot or cold. Is it hot? Is it cold? Okay, I'm going to give you a few minutes. Now, if there's not an adult there with you, I want you to look out the window. And you can still get a feel by looking. And you can make a guess of what kind of weather you have today. All right? So I'm going to give you a few minutes. I'm going to take a peek because I don't really have a door. I live in an apartment. So I'm going to look out the window and I'm going to make my observations. All right? All right. At the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Let's go. Okay, I'm ready when you are. I see some people are still outside. I can see them. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait for them. Great, I see everyone back. How awesome. All right. So we made observations. Now, when scientists make observations, they record their observations. So what does it mean to record? Well, to record can be just to take a piece of paper and write down the observations. You know why they write down the observations? So that they don't forget. So that next time they make another observation, they can compare. Remember how I asked you before how the weather was different from last time? That's how you compare. So now we're going to go into recording local weather. Again, the word local means the weather and where we live, where we are at the moment. So scientists often need to remember what they observe. What could they do to make sure they remember the weather that they observe today? Say the word I just told you. Yes, record. They record their information. So in looking here, it says 
scientists record there's the word record their observations they draw them or they write them down so some of you are thinking oh but Ms. Diaz I don't know how to write the words look it says draw so if you can write the word you can draw the word do you know how to draw sunny right and you know how to draw different things so you just what you do is that you take your drawing to look like the word that you're trying to say and that's okay that's part of recording and i know you guys can do that because i've seen you do that all the time now if you're not sure what to draw you can look at the pictures on our what we know about weather chart and here you see so here's for sunny cloudy rainy windy snowy and here are all the temperatures so here we have very hot and look it's red so if you don't know how to write very hot you could just put red in your picture and it'll show that it's hot or just hot very hot is red i'm sorry and then for hot is orange for warm is yellow for cool is green for cold is blue and for very cold it's purple okay so that'll give you an idea of what to do and this assignment you're going to do after i am done teaching this lesson you're going to take something to write with and something to write on it could be anything that you can write on and you're going to create your own chart just like mine and so you see i says here the weather i observed today was and if you don't know how to write this, that's okay. Just go ahead and draw what you observed today, right? And that will be you recording what you observed outside. So now we're going to talk about what scientists do. So those of you that have had these lessons before in a classroom, we always keep a chart in which we add the stuff that the scientists do. So as we learn to be weather scientists, we will be doing things that all scientists do to learn about the world around them. We will use a chart to help us remember and think about the way we are scientists. Because scientists use many tools in order to do their job. So this chart it says what scientists do to answer questions scientists ask questions about things they want to understand this helps scientists say what they wonder and what to find out more about remember that when we wonder we do what tell me you know yes we're curious about something so we ask questions we observe we record until we find the answer that's what a good scientist does. So here we continue to look at the chart. And if you see here, scientists observe the world around them. They look, they listen, they feel, right? And also they go further. Remember we talk about touching and tasting. So scientists do, they use all their senses in order to get to the answer that they're trying to find out. And then once they have all that information, they record it, which is what you're going to do after this lesson. So scientists do many things to answer their questions. As we do new things as scientists, we will add them to this chart. So in our, in our next lessons, you're gonna see how we're gonna be adding more stuff to our chart. But for today, we've learned that scientists make observations and once they make observations, they record their observation, okay? In order to get to their answers. Once again, I really enjoyed spending time with you and you are learning so many wonderful things and I will see you in the next lesson 1.3 part 2. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Goodbye.